Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. In the previous episode, we uh, showed you how this uh, wire hose clamp tool works. This one is big cumbersome for the heavy duty stuff. It's absolutely the best you'll ever have. So tonight we're going to try and build a clamp tight type uh, hose clamp maker. So let's get right into it. What I've got is I've got a couple of off cuts. This is a, oh, it looks like, 10 by 10 uh, square bar. And this is a 13 by 13 by, it looks like a 1.2. Oh, 1.5 uh, square tubing. So I'm going to start marking them out and see where we go to from there. I think this is going to be a bit of a time lapse deal. Uh, I'll get something to say in the mean in in between. Them. We'll play some music or something like that. Now the idea is we're going to grind this one down a bit to fit inside here so we can weld around it and uh, take it from there. I don't know how wide this is. I just, just took that uh, width as a as a mark. Well, it's a weird size in any case. Looks like 18 and a half or something. Something like that. So I think if we go 25 from this side. Twenty-five from the other side. I think it will be okay. Alright, so off camera I just uh, filed down, grinded and filed down the uh, little piece of uh, square stock to fit into the uh, square tubing. So now we're quickly going to weld them together.
All right, so this is how far we've come. Uh, I've got a little piece of broken off drill that I tried to sharpen, but it never really works on these small stuff. Now I've drilled it so that it just doesn't go through, because um, I want to tap it in once we're done. But now, it's, it's, firstly, we have to shape the front end. So I'm just quickly going to do that. All right, gentlemen, after cutting in the slot, um, drilling in this front hole, shaping it a bit on the belt grinder, uh, this is where we're at. So the next point would be to actually cut a little half round slot into the front end. So that's the next step. All right, uh, a little slot cut in with the grinder, and now some needle file work. Okay, so off camera I uh, cut a little piece of square stock and I took a 8mm bolt, ground the edge square. Now both of these squares actually fit into the little piece of square tubing that we've got here. So next step would be to actually weld these two together. There we go. Now we just need to cut off that's a 15 millimeters. And gentlemen, we are almost there. Uh, next step would be to actually drill a hole through there. And I think we're gonna punch them as we keep. Gentlemen, we are very close to finishing off this project. So what I did was I drilled a little hole through that square section that actually fits in there. Now we can start putting the whole thing together. What I've got here is a piece of 5mm hard drawn. I don't know what steel it is, but it's fairly hard, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to try and tack that in, in place on there. The front section, I've got a drill bit that almost fits in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press fit, press fit, press fit that in there and cut off this little drill bit here so that's fairly hard as well and then we can put a nut on the back so hold on tight we're almost there Alright gents, uh, our little hose clamp maker is complete, uh, I've welded on everything, polished it up, uh, it's actually not looking too bad, um, can still po be polished up a bit more, but this is a tool that's uh, not a, a showpiece, 
if I can call it that. So let's test it. I've got a piece of low density polyethylene pipe with a blind plug in the end. So let's see if we can put a hose clamp on there. Um, now what we need to do is we start off with about, let's call it, six to eight inches of, of, of wire. This is 1.25 millimeter galvanized wire. Uh, and then one, two loops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it over the this edge so we can get a nice proper fit there. And then we do two loops again, but in the opposite direction. Something like that. So that the two tag ends comes out on the same side. So now we're just going to flip it over here and a little bit tight something like that the better you get it dressed in the beginning before you start putting tension on it uh, the less you will need to wind it up so something like that so what we're going to do now is we are going to insert our tool on that end uh, come on, and we it open a bit. Uh, so the wire is gonna go over and over the top end and wind around the back end and then just clean up tie them together all right so now that we've got that on uh, we can start putting some torque on here as you're tightening it up check that you actually all right so now that we've got that on uh, as you tighten up, check that your tool is actually biting the wire on that side and then put some tension on it. And as this is happening, you take your pair of pliers and we just dress it nice and neat. Make sure everything's neat. No need for it to look like a dog's breakfast. There we go. Another one. And give her all the way. And once again, you'll see it start to uh, bite into the pipe. I think then, then you're basically on there. And now we just flip the whole joint over and there we go and now we can just cut off the tag ends come on leave about a quarter of an inch And now when you're doing your tag ends, ends, make sure that they fit on the inside of the pipe. Uh, just makes for a neater joint. Just 
See this? They are still far too long. So you can basically go with um, less than a quarter of an inch. Just less. Something like that. Gentlemen, and there we have it, a nice, neat uh, hose clamp that's not costing you any money. And this is set on you pretty much for life until you cut it off. I hope this uh, gave you a bit of an idea. It's actually quite easy project to do. And uh, something that you can do out of scrap and just chuck it in the toolbox you'll get a use for it someday even if you're not into irrigation and all of that uh, somewhere along the way you'll be putting on those clamps if you're out on the on the farm you'll probably use it more than than you you'd actually think so i think it's a good investment gents with that i think i'm gonna call it uh thanks again for watching if you made it thus far really appreciate it uh, if you like what you see, please rate, comment, subscribe, uh, ring the little bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, in the comments, if, you will, if you'd like to see something, put it on there. I'll put it on the list. Uh, we'll see when we can get to it. And uh, as always, stay safe.